in any game, uh, if you come out and you, you don't play uh, as close as your best in, it, in the entirety of the game, it's going to be tough to, to earn a win. You know, when you're playing against a, obviously a quality opponent, a tough opponent in Denver, and, and you don't play well uh, for a half, um, you know, it's going to going to be a tough road ahead to, to try to earn out a win. Uh, we, we didn't play well, obviously, in that first half um, in different facets. Uh, I thought we played better in the second half, still not great, uh, but better. We showed, obviously, a lot more fight and, and uh, passion, uh, which I'm proud of, of our guys, you knowing to, to dig in and to continue to attack all the way through the end. Um, but it would have been, been great to see what the outcome had been if we had done that for four quarters. Questions for Ryan? Ryan, um, so first half, you guys weren't getting much going. Second half, you get, it seemed like there was a sense of urgency. Can you explain why, or should that, why didn't it start earlier, or? Um, you'd like to think that it would start earlier. Like I said last week, we had one goal in the first half, and that's unacceptable for our standards on an offense. Um, I think we just realized that how we played against Ohio State in the first half, we didn't pick it up in the second half. And if we didn't pick it up in the second half, then it was going to happen to us again today. So I think, like you said, we just had more urgency. Yeah, he did make some good saves, but I think we just weren't getting the opportunities we were looking for as an offense. Um, Earlier, we were just throwing shots towards his feet and missing the cage. Um, we made him look really good in the first half, and the second half we kind of dialed it back, uh, tried to tried to get the shots we want to take as an offense, and got him to go. Has it, has it been more difficult because Alex has faced two great face-off guys? Not having as much possession with losing face -offs. Yeah, it's always difficult as an offense. You have no rhythm when, um, especially when you play a team that holds the ball for three minutes at a time on their offensive side of the field. So it's tough to get into a rhythm. I think that's one of the things that hurt us in the first half. But I think in the second half, Alex did a great job all day, and as, as well as uh, Connor Harriman. So I think in the second half, we just played with more urgency and uh, finished the ball. It was, it was a decision that needed to be made at that time. Um, thought about potentially making it kind of within that first quarter, but then Josh seemed to, to kind of settle in a little bit and, and get a couple stops. Um, I just didn't, you know, for whatever reason, I just didn't feel like Josh was seeing the ball great today. He wasn't reacting well. You know, he's not near. He was hitching a lot, you know, and um, those guys like to shoot high. You know, he's hitching a lot on shots. Um, so yeah, we made the decision we felt was gonna hopefully put us back in position to to get a win. It's, it's tough to overcome the uh, face-off deficit you guys had. I mean, Batista played a great game, um, but how uh, how do you think you guys played on defense? I mean, I thought you guys played pretty well on defense, but can you give us a summary of that effort. Uh, Defensively, I thought we were decent. I didn't think we did a great job uh, continuing to challenge guys as they were getting ready to shoot. You know, a couple of them were kind of screwy plays, kind of weird goals where, you know, shot, save, kind of we didn't locate a guy in a rebound, you know, those types of things. And they got great shooters. And one of the things we wanted to do was get into their hands, make them move their feet to shoot. And we didn't do that great uh, a few times, especially with Walker, you know, when he's in the slot and, and getting his hands free, you know, the kid's terrific. And uh, we didn't do a good job making him move his feet to shoot. Um, you know, a few times, and uh, you know, with the with Baptiste, uh, yeah, I thought Baptiste did did well. Woodall actually won the clamp and uh, initial draw a lot of the time. Our wing play, uh, and that's uh, that's that whole obviously this whole game is completely on me. But we didn't make uh, the right adjustment quick enough in certain areas, and we didn't make good enough reads off our wings at times because Woodall was winning the ball. I mean, he was flat out winning the ball, bringing it out. We just weren't winning the ball off the ground and on the wings. And, and Baptiste is terrific. There's no doubt about it. Um, but I, I thought Alex did a really good job of at least giving us an opportunity and not letting Trevor control the ball coming out and, and putting us in a bind there. You have made a lot of changes defensively on close defense, but I noticed you had Livingston a lot. I guess you always heard, but you also had added a little bit. Mm -hmm. You're just trying to find the right combination. 
not really a combination, just guys that have earned, you know, earned minutes and, and earned an opportunity, especially with the the heat um, today after having, you know, a pretty cold, uh, pretty good cold stretch and, and guys potentially uh, not being as able, not able to go as long as possible, you know, with maze and longer possessions that Denver likes to have, um, you know, making sure that we could get guys in there and stay as fresh as possible. You know, Calvin's done a good job continuing to chip away at, at getting in and getting playing time. Um, you know, I thought we weren't great at the close defense in a couple of spots today. Uh, and Joe, you know, Tyler Mays, if we allowed him to, he'd try to go all day. But, um, you know, we got to – sometimes you got to pull him back and, and let him catch his breath and, and get Joe out there to give us, you know, a good possession. Sean, is uh, Jack still feeling his injuries a little bit? No. No, Joe's. Uh, I mean, Jack's. Um, you said Jack, right? Yeah, yeah. Jack. Jack's back, um, 100%, and uh, good there. Uh, yeah, I think he struggled a little bit today at times. Um, Colton's a great, you know, obviously good downhill dodger, and Jack usually likes those physical matchups. But if you can't get your hands on him early, you know, it's tough to get to him. Uh, you know, credit, you know, he got his hands free and got a good shot off. Coach, what do you think the biggest adjustment's going to be this week to get ready for Drexel next week? Take that fourth quarter and turn it into four quarters, to be honest with you. Um, that's what we need to – and I told the guys in the locker room that, you know, you, you know for whatever reason, um, we didn't have that pop in that first half, you know, with, a, uh, with our offensive possessions. You know, defensively, we seemed a little lax. And I don't know if it was, you know, a 10-day break and, and kind of like, you know, finally getting back into a game groove. I hate – I don't want to – you know, I'm not going to make an excuse on that. we got to be <laughs> – that whistle blows on a game day. You got to be ready to go. I don't care if you got two weeks off or not. Um, you know, so for us, it's it's understanding how to be on top of our game right away. So whether it be a little bit more situational scrimmaging during practice, and then trying to emphasize that type of stuff, which I think now that we're you know as close to as healthy as we have been, um, we can probably do some of those things. Uh, I think that'll hopefully get us to where we can be better right from the start and be able to execute.